Hi, my name is Tammy Maroon. I'm with OKC Paranormal. And what I'd like to talk to you about tonight is the use of ambient thermometers and hygrometers during a paranormal investigation. Um, a lot of groups out there, and us included in the beginning, used only surface thermometers. They're easy to come by. Uh, they're a must-have for your initial paranormal tool belt, and, and we used them just like everybody else. The problem with that is they simply detect surface temperature. That's it. So, you know, uh, very not very often are you going to have a paranormal experience where a wall gets hot or a ceiling or floor uh, changes temperature significantly. Perhaps if an entity or something paranormal is occurring on a surface, maybe a countertop or a bed or a chair, then you might have a heat signature that's going to pick up the surface temperature, but that, that's the only time I can think of that, that it's actually going to be beneficial in an investigation, um, other than just getting baseline readings of the uh, walls and ceilings and floors. The other thing that we're using now that's really been beneficial that we're uh, just really enjoying is an ambient air therm thermometer. An ambient air thermometer is different than a surface thermometer. It has a probe on it. With that probe, we're able to get a reading from uh, the actual air. Um, from the probe, there's about a six inch circumference radius around the probe that it picks up the reading in. So if you're walking from one area to the next, the readings fluctuate pretty fast and you're able to detect if there is an, uh, if you experience something like a cold pocket or a hot pocket, your ambient air thermometer is going to show you that. And so that's pretty exciting to be able to document something that normally is just anecdotal evidence. Um, the other thing that we're playing with and experimenting with, I should say, is uh, a hygrometer. Hygrometer measures uh, RH, relative humidity, sorry, <laughs> it's late. And uh, with the relative humidity, what we're noticing is that when it seems like we're experiencing something that's paranormal, we've noticed that there is a dip in relative humidity. So far, it's just happened twice that we've been paying attention to it. Um, again, it's something new that we're really going to start collecting data on. Uh, for instance, uh, when we were going along with time and we had a, an increase in ambient thermometer, uh, the temperature in that little spot was 12 degrees higher than it was anywhere else. Also in that spot, the relative humidity was 15% lower than it was anywhere else. And so, and this has happened twice now during an investigation. It's not something I think we're going to come across very often. But when we do, it's something we really want to pay attention to because I'd like to know, um, you know, what it is that's causing that. So if anybody has any theories on that, why there seems to be this type of atmospheric change uh, with the temperature increase and the relative humidity drop, uh, you know, we, we, we experimented with it, we put our hand over the probe, we blew onto the probe, we tried different things to affect the temperature and humidity. Um, we were able to make the temperature rise, but we were not able to recreate a humidity drop. Everything that we tried that we could conceive of trying, all it did was increase the uh, relative humidity. So, I don't know. I don't know what it would take to make the humidity drop other than just something literally pulling the moisture out of the air, which is pretty darn difficult to do. So um, it's something that we're really keeping an eye on. Um, we haven't come to any conclusions on it yet. We don't know enough about atmospheric fields and, and the scientific data behind that. So if there is anybody out there who does know, maybe you're a meteorologist, maybe you're another paranormal investigator that you've spent a lot of time collecting this data and analyzing it, please please let me know. If it's something you're just now beginning to do and you want to discuss it, again, let me know. You can reach me at Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y, at OKCParanormal.com. Thanks for listening and happy hunting. Bye.